Good morning, beautiful people. Hello, everyone. We're here in the beautiful city of Prague. The weather is fantastic. It's really treating us well. And I'm very excited because my cold, which plagued me in Brno, is actually going away. So I'm really excited for Prague. So after having breakfast this morning, uh, we had some troubles getting our vlog uploaded. But other than that, everything is going really well. Uh, but that does mean that we've got a bit of a late start today but we're still gonna try to pack in a whole bunch of things for today and hopefully give you some of the sights of Prague on a budget. So if you're planning to visit Prague and not spend too much money, then this, this is, is the way to go around doing it. Yeah, let's go take a look. According to the UNIS Book of World Records, it is the largest ancient castle and it spans a complex of 70,000 square meters. So it's a pretty large area. Um, I believe construction began in the 9th century, so it's pretty old and pretty big. I can however say that even on a weekday, today is Tuesday, this place is absolutely packed with people. I mean, I would expect this from a weekend, but this is madness. Can you blame them there? It's pretty cool castle. So even though the castle was number one on our budget travel plans, uh, I did pack my drone in for today. And apparently you can't bring the drone into the castle. Even if you plan on not using it, it just can't be allowed on the premises. Which is fair because the uh, castle is used as the presidential residence now, I think. So yeah, just leave the drone at home. It makes sense. So budget friendly, not drone friendly. I'm going to take a wager and say that today is probably the hottest day we've experienced in Europe so far. It's supposed to be 22 degrees Celsius, so... Um, but it's not great when you dress with a jersey, in case it rains or gets cold because it gets windy. And then you have this beautiful, gorgeous hot sun beaming down on you. Good times. The city is virtually packed with people, but it's, uh, it's really understandable. It's pretty much impossible to swing a cat around without hitting something that is either ancient, as in from like the 9th century upwards, or just absolutely beautiful. It's important to stress that this is actually not a museum, but it's a shop. There are a few places in Prague, especially around this quarter, uh, that are called museums, but are actually restaurants and shops. Uh, but inside you can buy some gingerbread cookies. It's normally served in Easter, so like traditionally an Easter thing, but uh, it's great for giving gifts to friends and family, and it's all handcrafted. So yeah. it's good. If you like ginger, which I happen to, and I love gingerbread cookies, this is this is a really yeah. cute place to stop. So technically not free, but it's budget friendly. Like your cookies are not that expensive, so definitely as a treat, come check it out. feeling overwhelmed with Prague I mean not not because of the people it is very busy but rightfully so there's so much to do here and around every single corner you see something that is just noteworthy of, of your attention you could literally spend a whole day or a whole week just walking on the city and not do anything but walk and admire the buildings and just sightseeing people watching building watching 
It's beautiful here. It's amazing. We have opera in the background. I think that must be someone practicing. Mm. And another one. So here we are at number three on our list. The John Lennon Wall. The wall became popular after John Lennon's death. Uh, the citizens here in Prague decided that they wanted to uh, rebel against the communist government at the time. What better way than to use John Lennon and all of the things that he stood for? So basically, overnight they came and plastered posters of John Lennon all over the wall. And the ruling government at the time obviously didn't like that, so they tried to whitewash and cover the wall. But the next day, protesters were back, and there was John Lennon's face again. And over time, people would come and post lyrics of Beatles songs and obviously pictures of Lennon till this day. And now it's become a symbol of peace and love. And freedom. And selfies. And we've made it to number four on our list. This is the St. Charles Bridge constructed over the river Vitlava. Uh, it was constructed in the 1300s and up until 1841 it was pretty much the only means of crossing this river uh, which made it exceptionally valuable for trade in this region. As most of the other things that we visited in Prague today, it is still very busy. There's a fair amount of people here. It doesn't really diminish from it. You kind of get lost in the crowd which kind of is a fun thing to do. If you do want a more quiet time, they do recommend coming in the early morning. Uh, this pretty much fills up in the evening. Uh, so it's going to get predominantly worse if that's your take on it. But yeah, as you say, it's you just kind of become one of the mob. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely worth seeing though. Oh my goodness. This, this lady's playing an ocarina. I can feel the magic. And now we finally made it to number five on our list here. It's another museum, which is not actually a museum. In my opinion, the most important of all five or six stops that we'll be making today. Especially see that I did not pack enough water. We're here at the Prague Beer Museum pub. So it's a really special place in that they serve over 30, I think it's 30 um, craft beers um, like all on tap, which is pretty unique here in Prague. Uh, even though beer is such a big thing, there are a few places where you get so many craft beers. And here we're properly into number five here. So we got two different beer tasters. Uh, the first one is going to be a flavors one, which is like a type of fruity and different like strange beers. And then we just have like a mix of their recommended tasters. We'll start with the fruity beers and then after that we'll do the normal beers. Ooh, that's young. Much better. Now we can uh, go get something else to do, something else to eat, something to see. So another item on the budget list, which was completely unexpected, I must admit, is just walk along the river. Uh, so far, we've got to see all the people on the paddle boats. We got to see these weird odd little things. There's swans and because it's spring there are ducklings everywhere. It's amazing. It's so magical. And we have these amazing vista just along the river. It's so great. So number six and our last stop on our budget tour of the park is the dancing house. This is not a house of dancing where people actually learn how to dance. It is a house that looks like a couple dancing. And there it is. So, seeing that you're walking along the river, you may as well just stop by and have a look at the weirdness of it. It does seem a bit misplaced, 
looking at the river, like Riviera, I guess, looking at the old buildings here, but it's free. It's, it's not really my idea of a pretty building. My idea is definitely far more the old buildings that you see behind us here. Uh, it just has more historical significance, but you never know, maybe in 500 years from now, this <laughs> will too, I guess, very possible. But it just looks like something typical of Cape Town, new architecture, if I can call it that. It really looked like a designer had a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure designers and architects out there will want to kill me right now, but <laughs> it's okay. But I think that concludes our budget bucket list for today. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to our hotel. We've got a very, very nice little place, uh, like a authentic Czech food place near our hotel, which we'll be stopping by to grab something to eat. After a long tram ride, we made it back to our neck of the woods. Uh, we're at a restaurant that we spoke about earlier today. Uh, it's basically a place called Uban Setu, or I don't really know how to pronounce that, but I'll be <coughs> linking it down here. It's pretty authentic in terms of Czech food. Uh, I'd say it's authentic because the waiters don't really speak English either. It's always a good sign, isn't it? And like, I think about 70% of their menu is just duck, which I'm told is pretty common here. So yeah, but we'll take you inside and let's see what we can find to eat. Oh my goodness, I think everything's reserved. Everything's reserved. I'm very happy that they accommodated us. Uh, every table in this place is booked out, but they still gave us a table just for the time being. Our food just arrived. We've got... I got the duck. I have to have the duck. Specialty. This is duck hot goulash with some uh, dumplings. Bread dumplings. We destroyed it. Oh, that was pretty good. Um, full disclosure though, I would recommend if you do come to this place, uh, just have the, the like, schnitzel. Yeah, the schnitzel was amazing, but so was the... Uh, the duck was pretty good. My duck yeah. was pretty good. But the duck burger that we had a couple of days ago was <laughs> absolutely amazing. That was definitely the best so far. Um, According to Yanni. It's definitely the best, like no, no doubt. Mm. Anyway, back to the, uh, the hotel. And uh, I think then we're gonna just chill just for the chill rest of the tonight. evening. And we're back. We made it back to our hotel room. As you can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think overall we had a really good day. A lot of the stuff that you can do in the city is luckily free of charge. And I mean, it doesn't cost any money to walk around in this beautiful, mm. beautiful city. And it's still extremely enjoyable. Yeah, a little tip though is definitely try to do most of the things earlier rather than later. The later you go, the more people there are. It does feel like there's more people here than in Munich, but everyone is in these like tightly packed groups, which is mainly like the tour groups. Mm. So you often see people with different colored like caps and someone with like an umbrella or flowers. So there are lots of people, but they're in these like close little packs. But I think we are pretty much exhausted from all the walking today. So I think what we're gonna do now is just uh, relax a bit and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks for stepping away with us here in Prague. It's been amazing. We've had a good time. Stay awesome. And we'll see you next time.